Hey, what's up guys? So today we are going to explore Matrix ROM for Redmi Note 8 and this is a follow-up video of this ROM. I did try this ROM before actually and did upload few videos about it. So I have been using this build of this ROM few days now and let's go and check what we are getting with this ROM. First of all setting and about device. So as you can see here all the information of the device which chipset it is using and the storage, RAM, battery and also the resolution of the display. And if you go here Android version, so as you can see here, it is running on Android 14 and there is no GFs built for this ROM right now. So you have to flash GFs separately and I did that actually. So as you can see here, Android 14 and the security patch level is 5th of July 2024. Going back, the UI is a little different than usual OSP based ROM. Uh, it is pretty much look like Infinity X ROM actually and I do really like the ROM. So in terms of Wi-Fi, Bluetooth and other things, everything is working flawlessly, there is no issue with that. I have been using this ROM past 3 days, no issue with that, I haven't faced any kind of issue. In terms of feature, if you check the metric setting, you are getting everything here. Whatever customization you want, you will get here actually and you can customize your device as you like. So I'm not going to in depth with the customization, this is everything is pretty much similar to other ROMs and in terms of battery the battery is doing pretty well and there are features available for battery section to actually if you go to charging control you can control the charging up to limit and also we can schedule so everything is there actually so in terms of features it got everything actually and it is working flawlessly um, i have been using past three days I haven't faced any kind of issue right now and in terms of display as you can see the ui is beautiful and adaptive brightness is working dark mode is there night light is there and everything actually is there actually there is no issue with that so in terms of security so this is pretty weird actually i have never seen something like this so if you go to security section device unlock so we are getting only face unlock here fingerprint unlock is not there even the previous version of this rom actually got fingerprint unlock I don't really know why fingerprint unlock is not here. It's pretty strange actually. In terms of face unlock, it's pretty slow. So if I, as you can see here, it takes a very long time to unlock the device. So as you can see, it takes long time to unlock the device. So even though face unlock is there, but it is not really that great. Fingerprint unlock is not there, which is one of the biggest downside of this ROM right now. Although this ROM is working flawlessly, but if the fingerprint doesn't work, it doesn't work actually so rather than that nothing much going on in terms of setting in the system setting also you are getting few other things actually pretty much similar to other roms so in terms of application as i said this device did not come with gfs i had to flash gfs separately so after flashing gfs i got only play store actually i flashed gfs core and it just came with the play store and other things like i did install photos and youtube and via browser and also safety net to check safety net so in terms of application as you can see here we are not getting much actually and the camera application we are getting here actually snapdragon camera there is no miui camera but i did install gcam here which is working flawlessly this is gcam version 8.7 maybe and everything is working no issue uh, lens switching is working and also you can record video and everything is working and the built-in camera application also working perfectly fine but you can't switch the lenses so as you can see here only the main camera you can use so that's also one the downside of this rom that you are not getting miui camera and other things like as i said i did install few application so in terms of safety net safety net is fast so you can use bank application without any kind of issue so if i check safety net So as you can see are passed so safety net is working and in terms of play store certification the certification is there so no issue with that too actually so setting about so as you can see the device is certified so you are not getting any error or anything like that here and in terms of gaming so the gaming is not really great like evolution x but it is pretty much good actually i think it's better than miui actually so you can still do gaming and everything seems to be working perfectly fine without the fingerprint actually so the fingerprint option is not there i don't really know why rather than that everything seems to be working perfectly fine in these three days 
I haven't faced any kind of issue. Everything works. So the ROM leak will be in the description below. Although it is not recommended because better ROMs arrival actually. You can go with Evolution X or Infinity X also doing pretty well. Even Pixel OS also doing pretty well. So you can go with those ROM. But I think this is not over the time actually. So still if you want to flash the ROM link in the description below. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Thank you.